Tennis Center here on the campus of York University. The 19-year-old Lena Krasnorutskaya from a small town just outside Moscow is down four games to one in a couple of breaks against the French Open champion Justine Anna Ardain here in the first set. It is a best two out of three set match. Right now, Krasnorutskaya in very early trouble. 11 on four serves, including that entire last service game. And not, not one winner yet. Seems as though this whole week is catching up with the kid. And against Anna Arden, believe me, it's hard to fake the funk. She makes you play a very physical match. She can attack from everywhere. Opportunity now, first of the afternoon for Krasnorudskaya. Krasnorudskaya put Anna Arden on defense with her first volley. And the second break opportunity for Krasnorudskaya. Nice burst of energy there. Up, wiped away from <laughs> the second ace for Anna Arden.
And a finding the corners in a beautiful way. Well crafted service games. Getting in first serves when she needs them. percent serves and are down. But finds another corner of the box. To give herself a 5-1 lead. Some points are more expensive than others. Whether you're serving or returning, always focus on winning the first point. It's such a mental lift. <laughs> Perfectly met out in front from Justine. Not letting this kid breathe. Right now, triple set point. She needed but 25 minutes to breeze through this opening set. And this. Wendy's bacon mushroom milk. And this. Wendy's bacon mushroom milk. This. Bacon mushroom milk. And this. Bacon mushroom milk. When you gotta have all that bacon and cheddar sauce with mushrooms, you gotta have it. And this. Wendy's bacon mushroom milk. And two girls on a motorcycle. Oh boy. Spencer's a prostitute. What? Every week, one will win. I made a dollar. And one will lose. Stop it! Kenny versus Penny. <laughs> Tuesday, starting September 2nd on CBC Television. What should the government do to help underfunded schools? Consolidate education boards. Raise taxes. Close more schools. Finance another report on education. CBC News World. Trusted, connected, Canadian. Bye. You, Karen? Steve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Thanks. What's this? A wedding song. No, seriously. I want, like, 12 kids. Get an MP3 player and messaging on your phone with the Nokia 3300, only from Rogers AT&T. Buy now and get a free Tommy Hilfiger backpack. Nana Arden needing 25 minutes to win the opening set. 6-1 will serve to Lena Kretznerutskaya.
we spoke about how Anna Ardan is facing her fourth Russian of the week. But something even more daunting, Krasnorutskaya is facing her second Belgian of the week. She was beaten 6-1 by Kleisters in only 17 minutes. Right. This took 25, but she did come back to win. But I'm wondering if there's a difference against Anna Ardan. Oh, it's, a, it's a great question, Brian. And, and Kim Kleisters was very visibly tired in the second and third sets, and she claims that she just ran out of batteries against Krasner guy back in the third round. I just don't see that from the world's number three, Anna Ardan. She seems to be registering great devotion to the cause. <laughs> the question is, will Krasner Rutskaya be able to find... It wouldn't even be a second effort. It would be about a sixth. Find more energy in her body. Right now, Anna Ardan is moving very steadily and quickly through this final. Look at the statistics, Mary, from the first set. And again, it's not that Anna Ardan is serving high. Uh, she's only getting in every other second serve. Krasner and Sky is doing better in that department. And that's pretty much where it ends. Only a couple of winners from the kid. And she's already had her service broken twice. Oh! <laughs> have to qualify calling Krasnitskaya the kid. She is still a teenager at 19, but this woman's only 21. Part of the great Anna Arden legend was played out earlier this year at the French Open. And Anna Arden was a kid. 11 years ago, her mom took her to the French Open. And Anna loved what she saw and told her mom that one day she'd play there and win. Her mom died soon after. Oh! The day of the final, Anna Ardan against Kim Kleiser, she said she woke up in that, that morning and told her mom that she, that she would have to give her energy to win today. And she did. Sure, a lot of you watched her win that match and look up to the heavens when it was over. Right now, this is the seventh break opportunity for Justine Anna Arden in this match. She is three for six. Take advantage. Cheers. How 
fatigued must she be emotionally as well as everywhere else. Beating the world's number one, Kim Kleisters, and having to play two more rounds in, in three sets to get to this final. Eighth break opportunity for Anna Arden. Christina Olofsson of Denmark. Anna Arden wanted that break right there. But it's back there. She, she, she. Anna Arden's okay with the call now. She found the mark. And again, just like that net cord, she needs these calls, this kid. She needs those kind of breaks. Get her back in. Get her thinking she can still compete for one more match. Third break opportunity for Anna Ardan in this game. Feels it now. Anna Arden, it's still it's a weary looking effort from Krasnodskaya. And Anna Arden must must feel now that she's she's making that clubhouse turn. She's on her way to New York City in a week of rest before the US Open. Krasnodskaya didn't look too good, doesn't look too good, does she? Grabbing at her side a little bit. Second double fault in this match for Anna Arden. And it doesn't look like it. it looks, like, looks like she's had, she's got some kind of a pull she's trying to work out. for the 19-year-old from Russia. Only her third of this match, she is 0 for 2. so stingy out there today and Arden. 
She wants every single point. Sky gave it to her. Very cool from the kid. You can't tell too much from there, but that serve wasn't only good, it was great. to see yes. more match and everyone knows how tired this kid is how much tennis she's got in her body they love s s seeing that she still is trying to figure out a way to be as enterprising as possible <laughs> against someone in Ardennes who is solely clearly focused on getting gone Pickup volleys yeah. and Arden has tried to do. Looked a little, uh, little tentative, a little anxious in both of them. Seems not quite sure whether to be into that, to take it in the air, or to play it off the bounce. Another ace. Again, it's not the biggest serve in women's tennis, but that's her seventh ace. It's about 106 miles an hour, 171 Ks. Again, keep in mind, she's only the size of Martina Hingis, who could barely serve oh. into the 80s in her last couple of years on tour, it seemed. It says an awful lot about how you can get it plenty of plenty of serve out of a five, five and a half body. Oh. She yeah. is small, but I mean, even Tight, off isn't the court. She? Yeah, well, when you <laughs> see her, I saw her this morning walking down with her husband uh, about two, three hours ago to go out and practice. And even then, she moves with purpose. <laughs> There's very little wasted effort on her part in anything she does. There's another ace in the corner. Number eight. And there's Pierre Yves Ardin. They were married last November. It took only a couple of days of a honeymoon in the Bahamas, close to where they now live in Florida, because she wanted to get back practicing for the 2003 season, and what a season it has been going now for her seventh title among them, the French Open. game of the match, the fifth deuce. And the match Krasner Ritskaya needs a lot more than Anna Ardan. Oh. Another error. Nineteenth against just five winners for Krasner Ritskaya. Ardan's already had 20 winners. Against just eight unforced errors. Very gaudy numbers from the Belgian. it is to hit winners against someone who's quick. You get a racket on it. Then it can often get it back offensively. Okay. 
Face of the match, Justine Emma Ardan holding serve. She's up a break and up a set here this afternoon. Moving can put a strain on friendships. Take a break with a KFC variety bucket. Chicken strips, popcorn chicken, and KFC's fresh original recipe seasoned chicken. It's three different ways to smooth things over. Get KFC. Get real. Nine days will decide who are the strongest, who are the fastest humans on the planet. From Paris, France, the World Track and Field Championships start Saturday at 4 Eastern on CBC. Well, during the week, State Farm Insurance has conducted a tennis clinic here at the National Tennis Center at York University, giving young players a chance to receive instructions, work on their games. In its fifth year as a sponsor of the Rogers AT&T Cup, State Farm has a long tradition of supporting women's sport, from figure skating to basketball to tennis all over North America. And the one celebrating here this afternoon is the 21-year-old Belgian, Justine Anna Ardan, set to receive serve. He's up a break here in the second set. Back for that first point being so important. She can't get that in any, even in, even there. Tried to be aggressive or perhaps more to the point. Tried to hit in a short rally and missed. She's just not well. You know, not sure about physically, but certainly mentally and emotionally, she's she's gone begging. She needs a nap, is what she needs. No matter what, she'll go from 38 in the world to around 23 in the world on Monday, which means she'll get a seat at the U.S. Open. Likely to cover when you work for CBS in a couple of weeks at the U.S. Open with your uh, your longtime friend and former neighbor. Well, let's put it this way: former neighbor John McEnroe. Uh, he's my friend, friend too. <laughs> I like that guy. Well, he's clinically insane, but that's why you like that's him. That's no reason not to like him. Break opportunity number 10 this afternoon for Anna Arde. Fault! She's obviously, 500. Well, she's obviously going for short points, Brian. Unfortunately, she's on the wrong end of all of them. 
just to go back to John McEnroe, a couple of weeks ago, he, he's been playing World Team Tennis this summer, Billie Jean King's League, back in the States, as these fans are just imploring Krasnoritskaya to make this a match. John was asked about Wayne Ferreira and uh, this renegade men's, <laughs> men's tour that is in the offing. Double fault there. So John said, well, I don't know what points he's making, but even though I don't know what points he's making, I agree with them. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be working with. <laughs> After that break, I mentioned that Anna Ardan is batting 500. She is 5 for 10 in break opportunities. Krasnorotskaya is 0 for 3. Ace of the match for Justine Anna Arden. Make that 11. All she needs is a break, and Anna Arden will leave as champion. education will be there for them. It's the comfort of knowing you can look forward to the day you retire. And it's the comfort of knowing the same State Farm agent who helped you plan for just in case can help you with what could be. We live where you live. For help with insurance and financial services, talk to your agent today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And just a reminder, the IAAF World Track and Field Championships from Paris, France. Don Whitman with a call, Ron McLean hosting. Coverage begins next Saturday at 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific. Time. And on this Sunday afternoon, all Justine Anna Ardan needs is a break. And she will have her seventh title of the year. Mary Carrillo, she'll head to New York City, certainly as one of the favorites for this year's U.S. Open. It would delight her to have a good U.S. Open, Brian, because it's the only major where she's never even gotten to the quarters yet. Has never played her best ball in, in New York. She's certainly going to be coming in there this year with some very snappy hard court results. Winning San Diego two weeks ago. And a couple of points away from this great title. She has a total of five breaks in this match. Three in the first set. She won 6-1. and She's up two breaks, looking for a third and the title in this set. 
Justine Anna Ardain lost just one game against Marion Bartoli in the first round. She's had some tough matches since then, but this too looks to be finished in under an hour. Now it is double championship point for Anna Ardan. That is it. Justine Anna Ardan, the French Open champion, has added the Rogers AT&T Cup to her list of titles won, title number seven for the 21-year-old Belgian. That's a great effort from Justine and Ardan all week. The great pity is that uh, we didn't get to see today the form that Krasnodarskaya uh, has that got her to this final. She just she just ran out of. You know, she, I think she's been operating on fumes for a couple of days now, had adrenaline going, but just couldn't come up with it today. That's a pity for her. But what a week Nina Krasnodarskaya has put together. Yeah, she's had a great week. Uh, unfortunately, didn't perform like she did yesterday. She's pooped. Of, uh, she is pooped. <laughs> well, you could see it. I mean, the That's shoulders, the were, the shoulders were just down and they were drooped. Uh, right now, let's go down. Speaking of Krasnodarskaya, she's standing by with Karen. Karen? Brian, here's uh, Justine and in Arden. Congratulations, Justine. You admitted yesterday you were tired, but there is nothing tired about that performance today. I was feeling much better today. You know, it was a tough match last night, but uh, I think I was feeling pretty good today. So I'm very happy for my uh, for my first title here in Toronto. You know, I was so happy to be back here. Thank you. Now, this, besides this very important title in Toronto, French Open this year, you've won six titles this year. How much is that world number one on your mind? Oh, you know, it's just unbelievable, the season right now. Uh, it's my sixth title here, and I'm feeling in confidence, you know. But uh, for sure, being number one is a goal one day. But uh, I just want to stay concentrated on what I have to do every day to be number one. And uh, I just enjoy my game on the court. That's the most important thing right now. Congratulations, Justine. Good luck in the U.S. Open. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you, Karen. The whole family enjoys her game. That was Justine Anna Ardan. Back in Toronto right after this. Mark, Mark, what are you doing? Hey, Kellyanne. Hey. What's wrong? What are you doing on the sidewalk? You should be in the bike lane. And you're going the wrong way. What do you mean the wrong way? You should be on the other side of the road in the flow of traffic. I feel safer on the sidewalk. Bikes are considered vehicles under the Ontario Traffic Act, so we have to do As the headline of our video publication said today, what a week. We've had just about everything this week, but thanks to the determined, talented, exciting players who emerged to thrill in the basis as the week went on, it'll be the tennis that we'll probably remember the longest. Say hello now to some key individuals in keeping our enterprise on the rails this week. Uh, Tennis Canada Board of Directors Chair, Harold Malaski. Our Tennis Canada President and CEO, Bob Moffat. The hard-working Tournament Director, Stacey Allister. President and CEO of Rogers AT&T Wireless, Mr. Nadir Mohammed. <laughs> President of the Ontario Region of AT&T Wireless, Joe Chesham. <laughs> Delighted to have with us as our ATP Tour Supervisor this week, Laura Chakrali. <laughs> and the hard workers, members of our tournament committee. And of course, as good as there is in tennis, our Tennis Canada ball crew.
Now, Nadir and Joe from Rogers at and Wireless have a check and a trophy for our 2003 Rogers at and Cup finalist, Lena Kratzmanskaya. all the WTA staff and the tournament director, thank you very much. <clears throat> I'd like to thank Justine for playing today. She's, she had a great week, thanks. Uh, and of course, I'd like to thank all of you for coming here and supporting me. It was great. I never, I never thought it, it could be like this. Thank you. Thank you, Lena. And now an even bigger pleasure for Nadir and Joe with a bigger check and the beautiful crystal trophy designed by Mark Raines Roberts for our 2003 Rogers AT&T Cup champion, Justine Enner Arden. thank all the sponsors, especially Rogers at and for supporting women's tennis and um, I'd like to thank also Stacey Alistair, you're doing a great job this week, it, everything wasn't easy but you did an unbelievable uh, job, so thank you so much. I want to thank all the, all the organization, all the volunteers, all the boy boys, the WTA staff, uh, all the uh, people who are working for, for the women's tennis, and uh, I want to thank my husband, thank you for supporting me, it's not easy all the time. <laughs> and I want to thank you, all people who were here t today and all week, you've been unbelievable, you gave me a great support, I'll come back uh, next year in Montreal and in two years here in Toronto, thank you so much. Champion, Justine, and then I'm going to... 